Um, this, this is actually a part of a series of patents that we looked at to try to um, help people change behavior patterns and get a little healthier. Um, primarily, in this case, what we're, we're talking about is, is looking at what you're consuming and steering you towards um, something that's maybe a better choice, a little bit of an incentive to help you make the right choices. Uh, anytime people are, are fighting health problems or trying to restrict their diet for philosophical reasons, for example, uh, maybe they're vegetarian or vegan or uh, want a kosher meal, I mean, whatever the, the database is that you're moving from, this, uh, this is just basically designed to be a, a system that has a closed loop feedback and to uh, give you a, a positive uh, reason to, to choose the right foods. Well, it could, it, it could live in a number of places. Um, certainly, it could be on a smartphone, it could be on a watch, it could be on a computer in the sky, it could be on your desktop. Um, any number of places, it doesn't, the technology doesn't restrict it, right? So where you pull it from doesn't, doesn't really matter. Now, in terms of an implementation, um, you might see a, a company like uh, Body Media, for example, who produces this uh, little, little device. I wish I had brought it with me. It's about the, the size of um, two watches put together and you wear it on your arm and it monitors your metabolism all day long, 24 hours a day, your sleep patterns, everything. And that connects via Bluetooth to uh, a modern phone like an iPhone or an Android, it captures the data. Um, so when you're exercising, you know how many calories you're burning, you know what your sleep total was, all this kind of thing. And you can also enter in food. Um, and then you can track your progress and you can say, okay, I'm 200 calories off the day of where I wanted to be on my burn. Or, um, um, 200 from what I've eaten, and therefore I should get up off the couch and go walk. And once you have this kind of feedback, it's easier to, to change your behavior, because without it, you're kind of guessing and making excuses. And so for people who want it, that's a, that's a new tool in their bag. I think we envisioned it as being real-time, but it could also be near real-time. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there certainly could be a few hour lag between updates or pulling things out or even, even a couple of days if you really wanted to push it, but it gets more and more valuable the closer to real time you get, I think. And so that's, that's a question of the implementation, whether you're on a slow connection or a fast connection, whether it's persistent or it's ad hoc. So um, the implementation isn't restricted. Right? <laughs> that, that's up to the people who implement it. IBM supplies the technologies to those folks and they're free to, to implement it in a number of different ways. Well, for example, if we look at health insurance, um, you know, it, it's kind of unreasonable to have a person who pays, uh, who, who takes care of themselves, who runs marathons and things like that, pay the same amount as a person who smokes 10 packs a day, uh, is you know, 200 pounds overweight, and uh, doesn't do the right things. So there should be some balance there because there's more risk with one person; they have to cover more. Um, this is kind of the reverse. If you assume that the, the premiums are at a certain level for for most of the population because that's the generic population. Doing the right thing moves you further and further down the scale and you could share those, those savings uh, to help incentive and change the behavior. They don't have to be monetary incentives though. I mean, they, they could be merit points or, or you know, gold stars or any number of things. Um, it, it, we just used the, the money because that was the one that people quickly recognized and say, hey, you know, maybe I'm saving up for uh, a new golf club or something like that, and if I hit my goal, you know, the incentives may, may pay for it or whatever it happens to be. People seem to like rewards. Well, two, ten years is what it took to issue from when it was submitted, okay. but uh, to make it through the IBM review process to be worthy of submitting, because there's a lot of lawyers uh, <laughs> involved in between here and there, is probably another year and another six months of developing kind of you know, testing. So if you think about it, it's probably closer to 12 years, uh, which puts it around 2000-ish. But uh, you know, if you look back at that, that was uh, at the point at which I think the, the Palm was just maybe becoming a real big deal. We didn't have any smartphones with, with real browsers on them. Um, you know, it's, uh, I think the, the StarTech was the one that was out there. So we looked at that and we could see the trajectory of that and, and anticipated it, but uh, in, the, in the examples, we used a more classic example of, of portable processing power like laptops and also desktops. So when you build something like this, you say, okay, how can it be used? If it was to be mobile and we're going to anticipate technology changes for the next 20 years, what do we see happening? Well, obviously wireless communication was going to be one of them. Uh, portable was going to be one of them. 
cloud-based systems is no stranger to IBM. What's uh, always new again in the form of, of System Z was the original cloud, if you will, you know, 40 years ago. So these archetypal patterns of development are, are what we leverage when we, we do our patents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no matter how the technology changes, we've kind of laid it out and said, here's how we think it's going to work to our best advantage. Now, if we're wrong and you find something better, you get to put a new patent on top of it. But if we're right, it holds. To get a patent, you have to be certified as being the first person to distill it to practice and teach the world, um, someone skilled in the arts, something new. And so the challenges that come up are uh, worldwide uh, over that period of time and have to be backdated and shown to be something that is non-obvious and non-trivial to implement. Uh, it's not an idea, enough of an idea to conceive of a fictional notion of a transporter. You have to be able to actually build a transporter to get a patent on it, right? So um, that's, that's why it took 10 years just to actually go back and prove that yes, indeed, these were the first thoughts. Yes, it's been not obvious. It's teaching someone who's skilled in the art how to do this. And that's, that's why it issues. Um, of course, it's also interlocked with two or three other patents um, that have to do with exercise machines communicating to it and, and the like. So there's, there's a bigger system here than just the simple piece of it, although the piece stands on its own. I really hope it's going to be used for people to improve their health. Uh, you know, when we came up with it originally, it was a number of engineers sitting around a table at one of the, the fast food joints for lunch. And we were all kind of um, noticing that our clothes didn't fit quite like they used to. And, um, you know, uh, looking for, for ways that we might change our behavior. And, you know, it's, people are going to reference Pavlov on this, and it's, it's a modern day Pavlov. You know, it's, uh, it may not be my, my dinner bowl for, for food, but, you know, I, I do react to things like cash. I, I like to have my new iPhone or my new iPad. And, and so that's where the monetary incentive immediately came from. And if you look at the directory, once these ideas are out there, once they're, they're submitted, they're publicly talked about. And so I think that this has already had impact on society uh, over the last 10 years in being talked about and being looked at and being kicked around. You see now programs in our health insurance where we, uh, here at IBM, we sign up for a program for walking or what have you and we get $200 back if we can complete the program over a period of a couple of months or a personal trainer or the like. Um, that kind of thing, I think this rolls right into that and hopefully it pushes it to the next step. And uh, once the follow-up, we'll take it even further, I hope.